Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Reporter calls Sarah liar to her face. What she does next leaves him crawling to a safe space. Moments ago, press secretary Sarah Sanders stood tall at the podium in the White House briefing room. And when Jonathan Carl of ABC and Jim Acosta of CNN asked if Sarah was a liar, she batted them down like annoying flies. Jonathan and Jim thought they could create circular reporting with what they thought were gotcha statements and questions. Sarah handles them like another day at the office. Go Sarah! First, Jonathan Carl of ABC suggests POTUS lies all the time. Sarah replies, we give the very best information that we have at the time, then she tells Jonathan Carl the revelation of President Trump reimbursing Michael Cohen, despite previous statements that he had no knowledge of the payment. This wasn't something that was initially known, but later learned per ABC's tweet. After Carl, Acosta says, just to follow up on that, the president did talk about monthly retainers in his tweet. And then Mayor Giuliani said that the president only knew about this 10 days to two weeks ago. Then in more of a statement rather than the rhetorical question, Acosta continues, how are you aware of something 10 days to two weeks, but at the same time in the process of paying monthly retainers apparently to cover the reimbursement to Michael Cohen? Sarah responds as professional as always and says, I can't get into the details of ongoing litigation. And, I refer you back to the president's outside counsel. Jim, won't let it go and says, I'll just follow up on this, as if he is the one standing behind the podium. Then Acosta says the unthinkable. He says, you said on March 7, there was to knowledge to the president and he's denied all these allegations. Were you lying to us at the time, or were you in the dark? It was just another day at the office for Sarah though. And, she replies calmly, the president has denied and continues to deny the underlying claim. Again, I have given the best information I had at the time. I would refer you back to the comments you yourself mentioned just a few minutes ago about the timeline with Mayor Giuliani. Jim interrupts Sarah and he says, but that statement was in reference to the reimbursement of the payment, as if to have it appear Sarah misunderstood. Ho hum. Big yawn, Jim. And so, Sarah repeated herself, and replies, again, I gave you the best information that I have in the allegations the president has denied and continues to deny the underlying claim. Unruly Jim Acosta used a condescending and rude tone as if to provoke a confrontation, he says, can you answer yes or no if you were in the dark? It's a fairly simple question. And in her professional and sassy style Sarah swats him out of the way with the last word. She claims the upper hand and says, and I think it's a fairly simple answer that I've given you several times now. Way to go, Sarah. Sarah wasn't finished though. The press secretary left no remains of unruly Jim and ends it with, I gave you the best information that I have. And, I will continue to do my best to do that every day. Boom. You tell him, Sarah. We are proud to call you our press secretary. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.